In this video, we'll be looking at consecutive integer word problems. If your problem deals with consecutive integers, like 4, 5, 6, and so forth, use the expressions below. For the first integer, we'll let that be x. And then you just add 1 to get to the next consecutive integer, so x plus 1 and then add another one to get to the third integer. So adding one onto this expression gives us x plus 2, etc. If the problem deals with consecutive even integers or consecutive odd integers, both of these, you use the expression x and then x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, and so forth. Leonard found four consecutive integers such that 3 times the sum of the first and the fourth was 114 less than the product of negative 5 and the sum of the first two. What were the integers? All right, so the first thing we see is that we need four numbers, and we're just dealing with consecutive integers. We're not talking about even or odd. So always let x be your first. And then since they're just consecutive integers, we'll add 1 onto this each time. So x plus 1 will be my second. Add another one onto this. I have x plus 2 will be my third. Add another one onto this, and I have x plus 3 is my fourth. And that's all I need because I'm looking for 4. All right, now I'm ready to translate. Um, we'll start right here, such that, okay, 3 times the sum. So I'm going to write 3 times, and I'm going to add two things together, because sum means you're adding. I'm adding the first, which is x, and the fourth, which is x plus 3. So this, so far, we have 3 times the sum of the first and the fourth. Was, so there's my verb, that's where the equals is going to go. And then this less than, you've got to be very careful. When you see less than, that means you need to take the number here and scoot it to the right and put a negative sign in front of it. So I'm subtracting this 114 from something because it's 114 less than the product of, now product means multiplication, so I'm going to multiply negative 5 times something, product of negative 5 and the sum of the first two. So I'm adding together the first two integers. So x is my first one, and then x plus 1 is my second one. So basically, start out by setting up your expressions that you need. If you're dealing with just consecutive integers, then just add one each time. Um, if you're doing even or odd, you'll add two each time. And then translate. Uh, the verb is where the equals goes. And be cautious if you see the words less than, because this number then has to scoot over and you put a negative in front of it. All right, so now let's see. We're ready to do some math here. Let's combine like terms on the left side. So I have 3 times x plus x is 2x plus 3. 
and then I can combine like terms inside the parentheses on the right side. So I have negative 5 times the quantity x plus x is 2x plus 1. Close up my parentheses and then subtract 114. Okay. Next, let's distribute uh, the 3 through this binomial. 3 times 2x is 6x. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Now on the right side, let's distribute this negative 5 through the parentheses. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. And then just copy this negative 114. Um, let's combine like terms on the right side here. I'll just copy the left. 6x plus 9 equals negative 10x. And then when we combine here, negative 5 and negative 114, I get negative 119. And let's add 10x to both sides. And I have 16x plus 9 is equal to, and those cancel, a negative 119. Subtract 9 from both sides. And I have 16x is equal to uh, two negatives here, so I'm going to add those together. Uh, negative 128. Divide both sides by 16. Cancels. And I have x is equal to a negative 8. Now, let's check and make sure that having a negative is okay. Um, it doesn't say anything about requiring that they're positive. It just says that there are four consecutive integers, and negative 8 is an integer. So my first integer is negative 8. Now if I add 1 to that to get my second, uh, negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. And then add another 1 to that to get my next one. I'll have negative 6, and then add another 1 to that, I'll get negative 5. So my four consecutive integers are negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, and negative 5.